In this video, we're gonna take a quick look on the Parker and Blot modifier and learn what to do with it. At first, let's create a random shape. Then we go to the Add Parker and Blot. Here we've got only one custom set, Amount. We change it and see how it affects the in and out version of the shape. I created a layer with several shapes. Let's check out how it looks depending on the shape itself. Gorgeous! By the way, moving the modifier up and down inside the layer affects the number of shapes you can apply modifier to. This effect is often used for creating animation of a star or shining. Let's create a circle and apply Parker and Blood. Now all that's left is to animate the value. Another example of using this modifier is shape inflating. For instant jumping, let's animate a simple jumping rectangle and apply Parker and Blood. In the moment of falling, we set positive value, and in the moment of rebound, negative one. Voila! I hope this quick review was helpful. Press like if you want to support me and thank you for following. I collected all the previous modifier reviews in one playlist for you. Thank you.